I don't have enough words to say to any of you because my heart is troubled. Because when I finish here, I'm going over on Crenshaw to talk to another mother who lost her son last night. Mm -hmm. And then another mother, two mothers in Compton that lost their children this morning. Oh. Oh. Six murders. Horrible. Of us, by us. Oh. Not the police. But us, by us. We want all the killing to stop. And, you know, what can we say to Miss McCoy? She just lost her son Saturday. And she's with us today. That's right. What's this in McCoy? You know, and so therefore, if we are not as angry when we do, then we are hypocrites. That's right. That's right. You know, not to the point to where because these young folks in the street, we have let them down. Yes. Speak, speak. See? We've let them down. Yeah. We have left the inner cities of America trying for a new way of life, but where are their examples? Yeah, that's right. At the same time, I will never degrade the young brothers and sisters in the street with no guidance. They need guidance. Yeah. Right. But they don't need us to be in the church. Yeah. They don't need us to be in meetings. We gotta get in the street and talk to these young people. They are lost, they have no guidance. And I say to this young brother, 35 years old, Brother McCoy and another mother, Devin Brown, their murders cannot go in vain. That's right. And by next week, this group should be up to a thousand, three thousand. We need a movement. A movement, family. Black on black gotta stop. Black on brown gotta stop. Brown on brown gotta stop. Two poor people have no reason to kill each other. And so I'm honored to be a part of the community called to action and accountability. And tonight, we have to thank Pastor Logan for allowing us to meet at his church at Bethel AME. I mean, we really need to get that brother here. We're Muslims, Christians, nationalists, revolutionaries, everybody, black, brown, it don't matter. We gotta have a movement, family, so my heart is troubled. Because there's not enough of us in the street. This is a good start. Yes. But tomorrow, we're going to be talking to these young brothers that live in this area. Who's going to go over to the rolling 60s, the A trains? Who's going to holler at the young who? See? It, it may not be work for everybody, but somebody got to do it. You know, I'm tired of seeing mothers cry. We're tired of burying our own. Yes. More of us are dying in the inner cities of America than we are in Iraq. And so therefore, I'm thankful to see the black, the brown, and this amount of people come out for Mrs. Cole, our grandmother. And we cannot let her death be in vain. It has to give movement to something. And we can't be the kind of leaders that the only reason we're gonna come out is for some damn cameras. That's right. That's right.